Your spiritual antenna is coming up right now. Your spiritual insight is coming up right now. Your spiritual antenna is coming up right now. I see the hand of the Lord coming down on you. Your spiritual power is being restored. The supernatural power, the anointed, the anointed. That thing that collected to the bar hunger of your heart. The Kabbalah created to Sakata. I see the Lord building you up right now. In the strength of the inner man. I see the wave of the Holy Spirit descending to pick you up once again. He's about to set the fire of revival. You will rise again. Your spiritual life is rising. Your anointing is rising. I feel the twinkling of the anointing in the fingers and in the hands. I feel it on your part of your legs. I feel it off your hands. I feel it on the supernatural power of the Holy Ghost. Begin to pray. Begin to praise Him. Your gifts are restored. Your gifts are restored. There is a restoration of power. There is a restoration of power. There is a restoration of your intent and anointing. There is a restoration of the supernatural. There is a restoration of power. There is a restoration of the gift of miracle. There is a restoration of the work of the gift of Revelation, there's a revelation right now. There's a restoration That gift you thought that I've left, that gift you have not manifested since you noticed it, something is happening on you right now. Wherever you are connected right now, the spirit of the Lord is about to revive you. That gift that light dormant in you, I see the fire of God bringing it back to life. Amen. I see the fire of God turning things around. Amen. The same power that came upon Moses, the same function that fell upon David, that same function that came upon the church and the Pentecost. All the at the upper room is about to rest on you. There shall be distribution and there shall be manifestation of divert gifts. The gifts you have that you don't even know, the ones that are lying dormant and you don't even know, the ones you know and you have not been using them, the ones that you are 
use it but it's no longer effective there is going to be a quickening a quickening by the power of the holy ghost the same power that quickened the bones they talk to each other before the prophet begin to prophesy and i will say there are racklings there are clatterings and racklings of bones bones coming to me i see them happening to you right now i I see your gift coming to each other. I see your rattling and jacking up right now. I see the wonders of God. I see the power of God. I see you see visions again. I see you prophesying again. People may have injured you. People may have abused you. People may have castigated you. People may have spoken against you and have discouraged you. You may have been discouraged in the fellowship where you come from. You may have been discouraged among the brethren where you come from. Do not be discouraged. I see the Lord raising you again. You are a voice. It's because of what you carry. That's why the enemy want to stop you before you rise. But I come to announce to you today, as we praise Him right now, I see the fire. I see the power. I see the anointing. I see the woman. I see the wind of God. I see the wind of power. I see the wind of wonder. That gift to you is about to spark up again. That anointing is about to spark where you are now, there is something happening around you. You can be pulling around and you can be moving around. But I sense there is a shaking on your head. I sense there is healing anointing in your palms. I see your prophetic gifts coming up again. The ministry is becoming more clear today. I see the power of the wonders of God resting upon you from your head down to the soles of your feet. I see the fire of God. You are no longer yourself. The owner of your life has come to take over. The Spirit of the Lord has come to possess you. The anointing of God has come to possess you. The power of God has come to possess you. The one that created you has come to possess you. The one that created you has come to take over. He has come to take over. He has come to take over. I'm told by the power of the Holy Ghost. I see the river of God. I see the river of God. Going on your direction right now. Begin to swim in the river. Begin to swim in the power. Begin to swim the power. The peace that comes to that is anointed is about to handle. As we worship, there is miracle. As we worship, we worship him, there is miracle. Mighty God is raising you to be the light of our time. He's raising you to be the light of our time. He's raising you to be the power of your time. He's raising you to be the extra of your time. By the power of the Holy Ghost, He's quickening you right now. He's building you right now. I can hear your prophetic tongues. Somebody's tongue is losing. Somebody's tongue is losing. That person in the kitchen, that person that is taking you there, 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 that person that is ta
when it comes before, there is anointing. Because it comes and it comes with gifts. It comes with diverse gifts. It comes with diverse gifts. Things are going to happen tonight. Rakashi Kalavaraga. Every beautiful in Ragaba. Santa Lababash. O Kale Prokedus. Ia Brada Nigo do Pricato. Santa Lababush. Ia La Brados.
I say I love you? Do I say I thank you? What more can I say? Do I say I'm grateful? Do I say I love you? Do I say I thank you? What more can I say? Do I say I'm grateful? Do I say I love you? Do I say I thank you? Thank you, Lord. What more can I say? Do I say I'm grateful? Do I say I love you? Do I say I thank you? What more can I say? Do I say I'm grateful? Do I say I love you? Do I say I thank you? What more can I say? Do I say I'm grateful? Do I say I love you? Do I say I thank you? What more can I say? Ya <laughs> Now, 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 now
Spirit is being stirred already. I'm going to share just in a few moments. I'm not going to tell because I still have another online program by four. And I just want you to know that this moment is your moment. I want you to just be connected right now because it's going to be an explosion. Gifts. There are diverse gifts that the Spirit of the Lord brings. And it takes the move of the Holy Spirit to awake them. It takes the move of the Holy Spirit to awake them and to fire them on. I am a candidate of today's debut in the day of Pentecost. He 
in my young to young age that was when i had an encounter with him and since that day till death he has been so real and so good to me the greatest thing that happened in my life was my salvation and outside salvation is the infilling of the holy spirit you may take everything that i have the one thing i am jealous of i don't want anybody to touch is the spirit of god upon my life holy spirit is a person he has feelings he can be hurt he can be wounded he can be injured he can be grieved no wonder apostle paul understand the mystery when he says quench him not grieve him not a lot of people has grieved the holy spirit a lot of people have quenched the holy spirit he's a friend that i cannot do without without the holy spirit of god in my life i am dead without him I'm no more I'm no more I'm no more no IG new man he's the raiser of man he's a lifter of my head he's the one that picks the tongue from the dungeon and raises you Holy Spirit has been the greatest thing in my life. I hear him on daily basis. Walk with him on daily basis. I pray that I say, Lord, may I never see a day without your anointing. May I never live to see any day without your Holy Spirit. He's the broom behind what I do today. On that day, it was on Sunday like this, on the Pentecost Sunday. In my little village, where we gathered to play football on Sunday evening as usual as young children. And then when we gathered to play the game, suddenly the football punctured. And then we have to send people who are to go and repair the ball and bring it back. We waited for them for some minutes they couldn't come never know that their members of the charismatics are going to are having the pentecost program like on sunday today and they were in the church brethren they gathered they were there i was not there to join them on the pentecost day only thing i know about the holy spirit are paul and silas they pray after praying they sang and the holy ghost came down I just see him as maybe a bomb and sometimes we see the picture of dove i think maybe he's a dove i never knew he's a person i can meet person to person i never knew him to be so until that day we waited for minutes and they couldn't come one of my friends tapped me and said okay why don't we go and waste time with these people that are inside the church and we were we went inside and we were at the window side waiting for them to bring the ball so that we will know that as soon as the ball comes out we jump out from the church and then we will run and play i never knew that was the day god has been waiting for peculiar in my life until i walked into the church and then suddenly in a few moments they have brethren i visited them for the leaning of hand on that day they were four and they came with a four four pickup as soon as the people saw them they rejoiced i was wondering i said ah, why are the people rejoicing on these merry people i said this is why i don't like this kind of people what is so special in these people now that they are rejoicing and hugging them around i never knew i would be part of it one day suddenly when the time came the person i was speaking spoke to them in a few moments they didn't even take up to about 10 to 15 minutes he now said to them all arise and let us welcome the holy spirit I said, welcome who again? In a moment, there was a spark of fire. Many begin to speak in other tongues. I was confused. I've never prayed like that before. About four of them, the person that was conducting the program, 
we that were at the back very close to the window a lady with them came at the back the other person was by the left the other person was by the right and then the, they spat in tongues and prayed in tongues oh my god i can't forget what happened to me that day while they were praying and praying and praying the holy ghost descended people were falling under the anointing people were crying people were speaking in tongues they were shaking seats were being scattered i was amazed at a certain stage i said what is going on here it was surprising and amazing experience but in a moment i said okay since these people are praying like this let me join them to pray I started praying all the doctoral prayers I know, act of faith, act of charity, act of hope. I prayed all finished. These people are still bumbling in prayer. And the most of all, the lady behind me was screaming and sweating and tears were rolling down. I was caught in the shock of her of her prayer. I was praying and I was opening my eyes, checking if they had brought the ball. At the stage, the guy that I came inside together with, I saw him, he closed his eyes, he too was in mode of prayer. I was left alone in the congregation of everyone that was there. When I finished all the doctrinal prayers that I know, I said to myself, what is going on? I said, okay, let me close my eyes and pray like others. I never knew the Lord was waiting for me to close my eyes. As soon as my eyes got closed, I lost consciousness. I saw myself, I discovered I was crying. But I don't know who was beating me. I discovered I want to resist the cry. But I can't resist the cry. I need the cry. I need the experience. But I, I want to stop the cry. But I love the experience. I want to reject the experience. But the cry kept coming. At this stage, I didn't know where I was till the program went on. Whether they brought the ball that day, I didn't know again. At the end of the event, I was at the back, but I saw myself in the front where they laid me flat on the floor. I've been slain by the power of the Holy Spirit. In a moment, when I opened my eyes, what shocked me most was that my two legs were unable to carry me. I couldn't walk again with my two legs. The people that came have left. They have to put, put me on a bike and take me home. That was the beginning of my journey. I returned home perplexed. <coughs> wondering what has just happened to me. After dinner, everyone walked into their room. I wanted to lay on the bed. The voice came to me and said to me, Newman, why don't you talk to him? I said, talk to who again? I begin to hear his voice. I begin to feel him. Holy Spirit, begin to talk to me. He begin to speak to me. And while he talks to me and speak to me, I felt the shock. I came down and said to him, Lord, Holy Spirit, I don't know you. I just heard of you today. Who are you? Where are you? Where do you come from? Where can I find you? Still bubbling without tears. It appears my hand entered into an electric socket. I went on the floor again. I didn't know where I was. All I was hearing was a cock crow in the morning. And I felt someone touching my leg. I thought it was my sister. And I heard his voice. He said, Newman. Walk before me in obedience and in faithfulness. As I was with Moses, so shall I be with you. I screamed to shout, yes. I discovered they has breaked. It was my journey with him. I want to show you something in the scripture in the book of John's Gospel, chapter 7, verse 37 to 38. I want to show you something. I want you to know that what we are celebrating today is real. He changed my life. He came into my life and I saw Christianity in a different way. I discovered there is another life in this life. I discovered there is another person in person. Oh, if you have never met him, you will not enjoy the beauty of Christianity. 
You will only understand him. You will know his power. You will know his wonders. When you yield to him. Look at what he said in that. John chapter 7 verse 37 to verse 38. We are going to read the reading, some readings. Because I, I, I will not preach. I will only pray with you now. And then before the line will be opened up for me to pray for you. John 7. John chapter 7 verse 37 through to 38. John 7, 37 to 38. Yes. In the last day. It was on the last day. That great day of the feast. The great day of the feast. Jesus stood and cried. Jesus stood and cried. Saying. Say. If any man test. If anyone passed. Let him come unto me and drink. Let him come unto me and drink. The same but, cry he's calling right now. David had the same cry. He said, As a bear pants for water, so my soul longeth after thee. When will I come into your holy presence? There is a hunger in the spirit of man. There is a yearning in my heart. There is a hunger and a part in my heart. I don't know if there is a hunger in you. I don't know if there is a tax in you for him. Get ready because we are going to read the next verse. But Jesus cried out and said, If anyone tasks, let him come. Let him come. Let him come. Let him come. Brother, come. Sister, come. You will know the joy of serving the Lord. Sister, come. You will know the joy of serving the Lord. Daddy, mommy, come. You will know the joy in serving the Lord. Oh, I feel him already. Oh, there is a yearning and there is a cry. I call him, bro. Oh, that my words cannot express. There is a yearning in my spirit that I cannot communicate. Spirit, hear the voice of my heart. Pray to the Father. I feel the yearning in my heart. Pray to the Father. I feel the yearning in my heart. Spirit of your way, Spirit take control, Spirit take control, Spirit of your way, Spirit of your way, Spirit take control, Spirit take control. my soul longed after thee. Have you ever seen a dog hungry for water? <laughs> it pants for it. It pants for it. And Jesus said, if anyone pants and tax for him, come! Maybe your life has been wandering into that dryness. The dryness of the spirit. The dryness in the service of God. Dryness in life. Dryness in everything around you. Dryness even in your pocket. Dryness in words. Dryness in academics. Dryness in wisdom. Dryness in knowledge. The answer to that dryness is to come. He said come. What happened in verse 38? 
He that believeth on me. He said, He that come and believeth in me. As the, as the scripture has said. As the scripture has said. Out of his belly. Out of his belly. Shall flow. Shall flow. Rivers of living water. Rivers of living water. Everything living flowed. Can we just take the next verse following it? He said, if out of his belly shall flow rivers of the living water. When there is a flow of the rivers of the living water, everything dead restores back to life. There is no deadness in him. There is nothing that dead in him. Everything about him comes back to life. I see someone today. The life of God is coming in you. When this water comes in you, when this river flows in you, every dead gift returns back to life. Every dead pattern returns back to life. Amen. Every dead academics return back to life. Amen. Your gift of prophecy returns back to life. Amen. Your prophetic ministry returns back to life. Amen. Your apostolic grace returns to life. Amen. Your administrative grace returns back to life. Amen. Everything that the enemy has subdued begins to return back to life. Amen. I see the river for someone here. The David in the book of Psalm he says there is a river there is a river there is a river this river is the flow of the spirit of God that make the city glad when it comes he kapale joko shapala baratoria karabaragada. If your life has gone down, he brings you back and set your motion. And there are many that are watching me right now. I see the power of the Holy Spirit coming upon you to set you on motion. Where your life has been stagnated, where your life has been caged, where your destiny has been trapped, where your life has been stopped, where your life has been frustrated, today I see the fire raising and moving you up again in the name of Jesus. Amen. The anointing is here for you. And what did he say in the next verse? What did he say there? What did he speak but, about? But this, I, this. But this pecky of the spirit, this thing he said, he spoke about the spirit, which that which they that believe on him should receive. He talked about the spirit which those who believe in him are going to receive. He didn't say some river. If you look at that verse very well, he said rivers, diversity. When the Holy Spirit comes, he comes with diversities of gifts he doesn't just come with one thing in your life he comes with various gifts gifts and gifts and that's why the body of Christ is blessed the church of Christ is blessed we have varieties and people gifted on every area of life that's why he say there are gifts but all from the same spirit what I want you to understand that God is about to use you God is about to manifest his power in you as we pray today that thing that appeared to be impossible for a long time allow the spirit to do that in Zechariah chapter 4 he said it's not by power it's not by might but it's by my spirit he said that obstacle as great as mountain before you Zerubbabel shall become a plain that thing that appeared before you as a mountain will just disappear when the spirit takes over as soon as the spirit flows those things that look so tough in your life become so easy and the spirit of the Lord moves breathe you know what the church celebrate today is the birth of the church Christmas we celebrate the birth of Christ but on Pentecost we celebrate the birth of the church the church was born in fire and in the power and in the wind when the church moves power goes when the church moves wind goes when the church moves fire moves and the Bible said they spoke in tongues 
You know, Jesus told the disciples in Luke chapter 24, he said, tarry you in the city of Jerusalem. Don't go anywhere until you receive this endowment from the power from above. And then he went ahead and told them clearly he, when he said in Acts Apostle chapter 1 verse 8, he said, and you shall receive power after that the Holy Spirit has come on you. When the Holy Spirit comes, it comes with power. And when the Spirit of God tabernacle is home in you, he begins to manifest and begin to move you. The Bible says when the Spirit of the Lord came upon Samson, he began to move him towards the direction of where he wanted to go. When the Spirit comes on you, he begins to move you in the direction of your destiny and your calling. The Spirit moves everyone in the direction of his or her calling. If you have not discovered where your direction is, surrender to him. When you yield to him, he leads you in the direction of your calling. Probably he has called you in the music industry. Probably he has called you as an administrator. Probably he has called you in the politics. Probably he has called you as a businessman. Probably he has called you into a profession of as a doctor. Probably he has called you as a lawyer. He has called you as an engineer. He has called you uh, as an architect in every area of you. As a farmer, as a teacher, he began to lead you in the direction. Probably as an industrialist and as an entrepreneur, as the moment the spirit comes on you, he begins to propel you in the direction he has called you. The same spirit that came upon Moses that made him to divide the sea is about to rest on someone. Some of you, the reason why you are running away from your father's house, the reason why you are afraid of the witches and wizards in the village is because of lack of the power of the spirit. When Moses had none of this, he ran to Media. But when he encountered God and returned to Egypt with power, he went to Pharaoh and said, Pharaoh, let my people go because he has returned with power when you return in power of the holy spirit those things that you, you used to fear begin to fear you you come in boldness you come with power you come in authority you speak with audacity i tell somebody today by the anointing of the holy spirit Amen. resting on you now every demon that have challenged you it as a territorial power as a family spirit as a territorial demon of witchcraft powers after today the anointing of god upon your life uh, we bring them down in the name of jesus amen the anointing of the holy spirit we scatter them amen. we scatter their gang up we scatter amen. their gathering we amen. scatter their operation amen. god will use you to dethrone the altar of satan in your father's house amen. god will use you to destroy principalities and powers he will use you to frustrate the activities of the devil amen. every territorial demon around you every territorial powers around you they will be roasted by fire amen. by the anointing of god upon you Amen. Moses returned in the power and said, I come to you right now and say, Pharaoh, let my people go. The Lord will use you by the unction of the Holy Spirit to lead the freedom of your people. The Lord will use you to lead you, use you to bring about the deliverance of your people. The deliverance of your people is upon you, is coming on you. As you yield to the power of the Holy Spirit, you will hear him speak to you. You will hear him reveal things to you. He will reveal mysteries to you. He will reveal power to you. You. I speak to you right now, anywhere you are, receive him in the name of Jesus. Amen. The same power that came on Moses is the same power that get ready right now. You are about to experience. You know, Moses went up to the mountain to be with the Lord. The Bible said for 40 days. And by the time he was done, the countenance of his face changed. When he came down, people could not behold him. They said, no, we don't want to see his face. That's what happens when the Holy Spirit takes over. People don't see your old. They see the glory of the new. When you are baked in his bakery and walk out from his presence, people could not behold the face of Moses remember what happened on the mantle of transfiguration he was transfigured Jesus was transfigured changed transformed and they wonder the moment there is a transformation in a man's life you see the spirit will come and the Bible said Moses appeared and Elijah appeared 
as I speak to you right now under the same function you receive the office of the law and at the same time the ministry of the prophet I see people today as the Holy Spirit set in into their lives again I see you receiving the law and of the prophet I see the word of God becoming life in you Amen. and I see you speaking like a prophet everything you speak today anything you prophesy today into your life as you put in your mouth and prophesy to your life to your business to your shop to your work to your marriage to your relationship whatever you will say now will work because under that, that terrific unction not that transformation there is a release and whatever you say come to pass i speak to you right now receive amen. in the name of jesus amen. receive in the name of jesus amen no wonder the Bible said, in the spirit of he that raised Christ from the dead, which means it's the same Holy Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead. The Holy Spirit raises dead back to life. Do you experience rise and fall in business? Welcome the Holy Spirit and it comes to amen. What is it that you experience dead in relationship, dead in everything in business, in career? dead in your vision you are no longer prospect you are no longer sharp in your designing in your planning the every area of your life that is dead as the holy spirit comes in he raises you jack you back maybe your gift of the holy spirit has been dead you used to prophesy before but now you no longer prophesy or maybe you used to see vision before but now you don't see anymore maybe you used to see dream good dreams and they manifest but today you are all full of bad dreams maybe you used to speak and preach and sinners are saved that is saved and hell is depopulated and heaven is populated and today you don't preach anymore maybe you have been wounded by people that gossip against you maybe you have been wounded by people that don't like you maybe you have been wounded by people that don't like your face maybe you have been wounded by people that think you are about to take their place and you feel neglected and rejected I come to say to you you are not rejected by God men can reject you but God cannot reject you Amen. men can refuse you but God has not refused you Yes, sir. I said to you that the heaven heaven channel is open for Amen. the return of the supernatural Amen. when the Holy Ghost begin to move on you again Amen. there shall be a noise because the dead bone came to life there shall be a rattling noise Amen. I can hear it in the realm of the spirit because prophets and prophetess will begin to speak people are going to blow in tongues from the house to the outside gate people are going to speak in tongues from the room to the kitchen people are going to speak in tongues to the toilet to the bedroom. People are going to speak in tongues from now to the workshop. People are going to speak in tongues from where they are to the office. I see the Holy Ghost bringing back that which is dead in your life. I speak to your life wherever you are. The rising of the power, the neglecting of the fire. I ignite the fire of the Holy Ghost returning in your life. You begin to preach and begin to speak because if the spirit that raised Christ from the dead, if that same spirit lives in you it shall vitalize it shall give life to your mortal body i pray for someone right now even if there is an organ dead in your body i see the holy ghost restoring them now Amen. if there is anything wrong in your womb i see the lord restoring them now Amen. I see if there is anything wrong in any system in your body i see them coming back to life Amen. the holy ghost is a healer yes, the holy ghost is a repairer yes, the holy ghost is the power yes, Anywhere you are right now, that same spirit will yes, give life to your mortal body. Amen. Wherever you are, there are gifts in you. Get ready to prophesy. Get ready to proclaim. That thing that has not been working in you, you that is above 40 that is not yet married you are going to prophesy you will speak it out from your tongue you are going to speak it out you are going to prophesy to your future and command your marriage to drop you are going to speak into your future 
you will command your wife to appear you will command your husband to appear you will speak to your future your job your career your profession job your professional career you speak about your journey outside the country you speak about your future your ministry your calling you will speak into your profession you will speak that profession that people have not recognized you it is time it is time it is time i want you to know it we are going to pray now for the feeling of the holy ghost Sometimes when you want to go to bed, a voice will come and say to you, You have not prayed. The Holy Spirit speaks to you. Sometimes you want to take some step, He constrains you and says, Don't do that investment. Don't marry that man. Don't marry that woman. Sometimes you think you are making a mistake. No! Is the spirit of the Lord constraining you from not? You may not understand why you didn't marry that man. You may not understand why you didn't marry that woman. But after some time, the spirit will tell you why you didn't do that investment. If you listen to him, he leads you and he directs you. In a moment, right now, wherever you are, when we take this worship, we are going to pray. The gifts, the one, the Holy Spirit, that you already know that is in you. We have the gift of prophetic gifts. We have the gift of vision. We have revelation gifts. Which all of them fell under revelation gifts? We have the gift of tongues. We have the tongues of praying in tongues. We have that tongue of speaking in tongues. We have the gift of vision. We have the gift of deliverance. It's not everybody can, can cast out the devil as a child of God. But there are people gifted for that. We have the gift of faith. We have the gift of working of miracle. The one you know you want. The one you want it to manifest. You begin to type them right now even as we pray. As you type them, you claim them. You type them, you claim them. You need that gift of healing. Because you will see the physical sign of them on your palms. The one of the preaching of the word of God. That is the gospel proclamation. You will see your tongue loose you will see your leg there are some that will have feelings physical feelings and there are ones that will not have physical feeling but is dropping inside i want you to get ready because we are going to pray now that as we celebrate the day coming of the pentecost or the feast of the pentecost the coming of the holy spirit there is going to be a release of the unction and the anointing of you now that gifts are going to come the power is going to come the anointing is going to come the tingling power the tingling anointing the tingling grace the tingling wonders the gift the gift holy of prayer spirit. The gift of prayer, the gift of fasting, oh, it will be revived, it will be revived, it will be revived. Rakata Pala Bragadu. Make my life whole again. Make my life whole again. Spirit move over me. Spirit move over me. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, move me now. Hey, make my life whole again. Spirit, move over me. Spirit, move over me. Holy Spirit. Open your mouth and begin to worship the spirit of the living God. Spirit of the Lord. Begin to call on the Holy Spirit. I hunger for you. I hunger for you. I desire you. I desire you. 
I hunger for you. Spirit of the Lord. I hunger for you. Begin to call on him and say, Lord, I hunger for you. Holy Ghost. I desire you. I desire you. Spirit of the Lord. I hunger for you. Open your mouth and begin to call on him, Holy Spirit. Come on, Spirit of the Lord. Begin to ask the Holy Spirit. Come on, fresh of me. Rita Mane Bragabosi Arababala Bracatosi. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Begin to call on him right now, wherever you are. Monster. Monster. Sibeli. Bumadata. Bragabosi. Sakata Baba. Begin to call on the Holy Spirit. Begin to call on the Holy Spirit. Rita Mane Bragabosi Arababala Bracatosi. Holy Spirit, close your eyes and begin to call on Him right now. Close your eyes and begin to call on Him right now. Close your eyes and begin to call on Him. Respect the truth, Allah, Bragabosi, Allah, Baba, Baba. Holy Spirit, Allah, Baba, Baba, Allah, Baba. Respect the truth, Allah, Baba. Holy Spirit, Allah, Baba, Baba, 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 Allah, Baba. Of the Holy Spirit that came upon the church of the Pentecost. The church was born. I see the anointing of the power of the Holy Spirit coming upon you. Holy, Holy, Holy Spirit, I surrender. I see you kneeling down and opening your hands to Him. Let Him be saved. He's the rain of the Spirit. I see you right now. I see you moving on the power of God, shaking your hands. I see the power shaking your head. I see the power shaking your head. I see your body freaking on the anointing. I see the feeling of the power. I see the feeling of the power. I see the return of the gift of the spirit. He break it down. 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 Open your mouth and call on him. Ask the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, I need you. Holy Spirit, come upon me. Holy Spirit, come upon me. Holy Spirit, come upon me. Spare your gift in me. Let him stand, 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 let him the anointing of God in you begin to manifest. The wonders of God in you begin to manifest. Begin to call upon the power. Ricardo Riva Baba. Breathe upon me, Lord. Breathe upon me now. Breathe upon me, Lord. Breathe upon me. 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 Breathe upon me, Lord. Breathe upon me.
Lord Jesus her heart against the Holy Spirit against the gospel I come and let your heart be open by the power of the Holy Spirit Holy Spirit take over begin to breathe upon them right now begin to see where the Lord is sending you to look at the people the Lord is sending you look at the massive nation look at the massive country look at the massive continent the Lord is taking you to begin to prophesy to those nations begin to prophesy to those countries the country the Lord is taking you to begin to prophesy to the nations the Lord is taking you to all the country the Lord is taking you to all the nations is taking you to your business is going to move from coast to coast nation to nations begin to prophesy and begin to speak to them we are the love of the Lord is taking you he's taking you higher he's taking you higher he's taking you higher he's taking you higher he pala braga bosi anada o braga tabala braga bosi anada o braga tabala bala braga bosi anada he's taking you higher he's taking you higher he said come up guitar he said come on he's telling you come on I have great plans for you I have great plans for you where you are is not the last gospel where you are is not the last level of you the Holy Ghost is saying come up come up come up come up there is a level I'm taking you to in business there is a level I'm taking you to in your career there is a level I'm taking you to where you are is not the final where you are is not the last place I take you higher I'm taking you higher I'm taking you higher I'm taking you higher give me your hand I take you higher give me your hand I take you higher give me your hand I take you higher give me higher hand the Lord said give me your hand I take you higher I take you higher I take you higher give me your hand I take you higher I take you higher Rikada Baba Bale Braga Bosia the Lord is taking you from where you are to a higher level Rikama Bale Braga Bosia your family need to see the glory of the Lord upon your father's house begin to pray for the glory of God in your father's house pray for the glory of God in your family the glory of God in your father's house
just be brief what you want me to pray for you under this atmosphere you want me to minister to you and then i will talk to you and pray for you right now just so you know, and please make sure you lower down the volume of your phone put down the volume of your phone when you call so that i can hear you you can hear me your name and where are you calling from my name is Odo Peter, calling from Papi, but right now in Wuse Hospital. What do you want me to pray for you? You are in Wuse Hospital. What happened? Yeah, they said they want to check that my kidney is having issue. They want to check it on Monday or Tuesday to know if they, if it's going to kick back. They want to check it if it's kicking back. There's no need for dialysis. So I'm begging God that today, which is the Holy Ghost Day, that by the time they check it, the kidney will be kicking back. And that is my faith. And, and I believe God can do it. You are ready on the line. You are a candidate for that healing. Because this is the Pentecost day. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke the attack of that kidney. Amen. I command it to leave you now. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Holy Spirit, I breathe into him right now for healing. Receive, receive, be healed, and I command the affliction on your kidney to disappear now in the name of Jesus. It is done, you are free. Watch out, you will call me to give your testimony. It is done, amen. And anyone watching that is sick, I declare you healed. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, anyone that is sick, I declare you healed. I declare you delivered in the name of Jesus. Wherever you are, be healed. Your name and where are you calling from, please? My name is Abubi. I'm calling from Can I hear you a bit? I pray for me. I have a dream. I'm pregnant. I have a dream. I have a dream. Where you and your husband was doing what? We are cleaning blood and I'm pregnant. I rebuke that attack on you and on your husband. I command that attack to leave you now. In the name of Jesus, under this atmosphere of the anointing of the Holy Spirit, I command that evil plan not to manifest. In the name of Jesus, I cancel it. It will not stand. It will not work. In Jesus' name. It is done. Yeah. Just make it brief. Just as you are hearing them. Anyone here under any attack of the enemy. Of the kind of bleeding or any force of attack. I rebuke it. In the name of Jesus. And there are people that we need to be, 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 we'll be showing their testimonies soon. All the testimonies that have been flowing in. Hello, your name and where are you calling from? Mr. Okay, what do you want me to pray for you? I want to pray for me for the exposure of the mind of God upon me. It has said that I'm, I'm the only one trying to drag my family apart of bondage. My God will strengthen me for the work and the fight ahead. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Let the anointing rest on you. Let the power of God be on you and may the Lord use you to liberate your family. In the name of Jesus Christ, receive the anointing to fulfill that assignment. Take it! In the name of Jesus. Take it! In the name of Jesus. You will lead your family to the promised land. God bless you and may he use you more. In the name of Jesus. Mashatalarabakapasata. I know calls are coming in. Don't be tired. Just keep calling. And then I pick your call. Your name and where are you calling from? Hello, sir. My name is Eddie David. Yes. You are calling from where? I'm calling from Italy. You are calling from? I'm calling from Italy. Okay, from Italy. What do you want me to pray for you? I need the grace of God in my life and the favor of God and the mercy of God. Wow. I pray for you because you asked for that grace. Let that grace be released on you now. In the name of Jesus, I speak that the power Amen. of God will be around you, surround you, use you more and more to his glory. 
in the name of Jesus as you are there in the city of Rome in Italy I declare let the power of God envelop you more in the name of Jesus it is done the Lord began to work wonders with you he will use you to do more work Amen. in Jesus name God bless you Hello. Yeah, your name? Hello, brother. Yeah, good morning. My name is Susanna. I'm calling from here. Yeah, I'm calling so that I'll uh, improve over my family. Okay. For God to restore peace and love in my family. And uh, I'm a more to me like a I We don't get along. None of my family. I need to make the help from being in wow. Everybody's on their own. And they are not, I mean, for God to restore peace I, and I, remove every canalism from my family, that everybody should come back to God. Oh, I pray for Both God. And I pray that God will hear your prayer. Restore His glory in your family. I pray that God will restore His glory upon your father's house, upon your family. Whatever force that scattered the family, I bind that force and I cast it out in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Spirit of the Lord will rest upon you. The glory of God will be upon you. The power of God will be upon you. The anointing of God will be upon me and your family. In the name of Jesus. And I pray that the Lord will open doors of success for them as they return back to Him. In the name of Jesus. Let me hear your Amen. Amen. God bless you. In every family now, they are near revival. I pray for the reviving grace. I pray for the power of God in those families. Let God begin to do a new thing in your own family. In the name of Jesus. Your name and where are you calling from? My name is uh, Arinjan. I'm calling from Freetown. Okay, how is free time? I will thank God. God, God, God bless you. Wow. So what do you want me to pray for uh, you today that is Pentecost Day? I want you to pray for me for, for the gift of prophecy. Gift of work of miracle and gift of faith. Now, wherever you are, since you need of a prophecy, faith and working of miracle, I say to you, wherever you are there now, receive it now. In the name of Jesus, I command that gift to be released on you now. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it in the name of Jesus. I pray that the anointing of God from today, even as you sleep, may you have an encounter. Encounter that will perfect what the Lord you have asked that the Lord wants to do in you. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want you to be preparing and be reading the scripture. Read the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Read them more and more and then watch what the Lord is going to do in your life. Take that gift. You will begin to see that prophetic gift manifest. Receive more in Jesus name. Amen. It is done. Anyone, whatever gift you are looking for, whatever gift you are looking for, just ask. I declare it is done. Any gift you are asking, I declare it is done. Any gift you are praying for, it is done. Your name and where are you calling from? I ask that you reduce the volume, the volume of your phone. As long as the phone volume is still high, I can't hear you. I will be hearing you, will be hearing yourself. Reduce the volume. Yes. Can yeah. I hear your name and where are you calling from? Hello, my name is Ada Jesus from London. Oh, you are welcome. How is UK? UK is getting better. Wow, thank God. So Thank what what do you want me to pray for you? The gift you are asking the Lord today being the Pentecost day. Yes, the gift I'm asking, two things I'm asking. The gift I'm asking mm. is for Him to sharpen my gift of dream. Your gift of what? Ambition. Dreams and visions. Okay. Because your... I do get messages in my dreams, but I want to sharpen it more. Oh, let the anointing of God rest on your dreams. Let it be sharpened in the name of Jesus. I pray for your vision. Amen. Holy Spirit, breathe upon her, that Jesus right now. Breathe upon her right Amen. now. Let the sharpening Amen. of your dream be released in the name of Jesus. 
Let your vision be sharpened. In the name of Jesus. Take it. Amen. Take it. I take, take it. Amen. Receive Amen. it in the name of Jesus. Amen. The one last thing is um, I, I get this attack around the time of my period. Eating in the dream, like last night, they are putting petrol in my mouth and all sorts of things. Wow. I, I see somebody is monitoring that my cycle time. That is when the first putting things in my mouth around the time of my cycle. I terminate every spiritual battle going on against your life today by the reason of the power of the Holy Spirit that is allowed. I command by the anointing, let the yoke of that evil attack be destroyed now in the name of Jesus. I command that attack to be destroyed now in the name of Jesus. Now in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 It is done. God bless you. Amen. Thank you. Masata Bushala. Your name and where you calling from? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm I'm Abi from Lagos. That oh. is that been sick for long. I have been doing your prayer. Yes, you have been sick. Yes, sir. I command I'm, every affliction of that sickness in your body. In the Amen. In the name of Jesus. I Amen. command that sickness. Get out! Get out! Amen. Get out! Amen. Anywhere is hiding in your body. I bind and I cast it out. Or be healed in the name of Jesus. By Amen. the stripe of Jesus. You Amen. are healed in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Make sure you just drink one cup of water. You it will disappear in Jesus name. Amen. God bless you. Bless you. Anyone watching that is sick by the anointing of God on this Pentecost day, I command every sickness to leave, disappear from your body. Get out! In Jesus' name. Your name and where are you calling from? I'm calling from Miss Alisa. Okay, what do you want me to pray for you or the gift of the Holy Spirit you are asking? So I, I want you to pray for me because since I started following you, there is something I ask for God. I say, God, I take you as my spiritual father that you should answer that prayer for me. I didn't dream of that thing that I went to that office. They asked me to pay money that they will give me the document. Then I look inside my bag. I give them, uh, they, they told me that the money is 30 euro. Then I have 50 euro with me. Then I give them the 50 euro. They give me 20 euro chain and give me the document. I was very happy. The next day, then I was in this clip. I have, I had another dream that I went to Nigeria in a family house. In that, in that family house, they were doing a party. Then I said, this party, please, I want to go back to my destination because I don't want to miss my bus. And there was a bus that was passing. I'm supposed to enter that bus. That bus, there was a particular man of God that was driving that bus. I said, I don't want to miss that bus. They not persuade me not to go. They tried to tell me that I should not enter, I should not go, that they will go and drop me with machine. Then I sit down, I didn't really go. Then the bus now passed. That is why I just opened my eye. Then I pray that the Spirit of God told me that it's a spirit of disappointment. I want you to help me pray to cancel it, that that document that God gave me is the dream, that God should also let it manifest in physical to me. It shall come to pass in the name of Jesus. Any demon manipulating that document, any demon that the spirit of disappointment is cooking up again, I command it to be canceled in Jesus' name. I command you will Amen. enter that bus and you will meet up with your time. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I declare by the Amen. oil of God upon my life, take it, 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 in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want you to say, I receive it. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. 
Amen. It is done. Congratulation in advance. God bless you. Amen. Mashatala Rabusa. It is done. Massacre. Your name and where you calling from? Your name and where you calling from? Hello. Your name? I'm calling from Okay. What do you want me to pray for you? Daddy, I need divine healing upon myself. I was diagnosed of a mass called Lioma. Again, I'm praying for me, for the fruit of womb, upon me and my siblings. I lile nkelara na oga bugu miscarriage ituga atu I lile getuku up to the extent that can eji manye miyoji ne oba nyi kpegire kpere na nyi jegi acho eje uzo imu vude acho hine manye na nyi tuku na nyi kpecha plate ikpe kpere monye je botere ni ime giye ebilite ni ife male giye ne mene ne da te one night a wo 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 jite ne katadi kabu problem ayi gane ene na ayi gano now by the anointing of God upon my life I command that that demon that is fighting your family I command that demon to expire today in the name of Jesus I bind that spirit I cast it out of your family I cast that demon out Amen. of your father's house, out of your sisters, Amen. out of their homes, out of their marriages. Get out! Amen. 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 In the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. It is done. It is Amen. done. Amen. That Amen. healing, I release it Amen. on you. I release that healing Amen. on you. Receive Amen. that healing in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Take one cup Amen. of water. It is Amen. done. You will give me your testimony. Amen. 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 It is Amen. done. Prepare your Amen. testimony quickly. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Daddy. Your name and where are you calling from? <laughs> the lines are jamming. Your name and where are you calling from? Hello, Daddy. Good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. Name is Onye, calling from Dubai. From Dubai. What do you want me to pray for you, Onye? Uh, uh, Lord, I want, I want you to pray for me so that... Uh, my prayer life will be and again uh, to spread the joy of in the name of yeah. Jesus Amen. wherever you are I pray for the spirit of prayer to revive you I pray for the spirit okay. of prayer to come upon you receive Amen. the anointing of prayer now in the name of Jesus Amen. I command that the power of weakness every spirit of weakness every spirit of lack of zeal every spirit of procrastination i command it to be uplifted out in the name of jesus Amen. i pray that the power Amen. of god will come on you to revive you receive Amen. anointing of prayer in jesus name Amen. i want you to shout another amen three times amen amen Amen. Again, I am asking of um, gift of prophet. Oh yeah, let that gift rest on you. As you pray, Amen. may you begin to see and begin to prophesy. <laughs> begin to prophesy. Amen. Receive Amen. it in the name of Jesus. It Amen. is done. God bless Amen. you. God bless you. Amen. It is done. Amen. All the ones that are asking for that gift, more gift, more release, more unction. Receive in the name of Jesus. Your name and where are you calling from? Your name and where are you calling from? Your name and where are you calling? The lines are jamming. Ah, 
their, their lines are jamming i told you reduce the volume of your phone so that you will flow but as long as you keep on your phone on it will be having an issue in the name of jesus i pray for the spiritual revival let the auction be much on you wherever you are in the name of jesus hello your name and where are you calling from calling from benway okay what do you want me to pray for you okay from denmark what do you want me to pray for you? I want you to pray for me for my school. For my, I want you to pray for me for my school. I always see myself in, in my old, uh, when my children in my old school. With my classmates and the way the computer has seen myself. Maybe if you want to write it down at my place, it's not so good. What I'm telling you is not so good in my I pray for you. I pray for you. Okay. In the name that is above every name, I decree right now. Let the power of God rest upon you and give you victory in that academic pursuit. In the name of Jesus, I speak the power of God Amen. to fight every battle Amen. that you are fighting in that academic life. Let the power of God terminate it in Jesus' name. I pray for the anointing of God, the power of God upon you to excel, to succeed. Every demon of backwardness that is challenging you, I cast it out in Jesus' name. Receive your freedom in Jesus' name. I decree your freedom, your liberation, your deliverance, your freedom, your deliverance, your freedom, your freedom in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless Amen. you. Amen. It is done. Masata Kapala Bragadosa. We have a few minutes. This one is gone also. I've told them, just make sure you reduce the volume of your phone. Yes, your name and where you call it from. Okay, what do you want me to pray for you? Want to pray for me concerning wisdom, understanding, and knowledge, and also to protect gifts and vision. I oh, place your hand on your head. I pray for that divine wisdom and knowledge in the name of Jesus. Father, may you answer her, bestow Amen. that gift on her, bestow it upon her. She asks right now, and I pray for that prophetic gift, prophetic grace. Receive it upon your life in the name of Jesus. Receive. Receive, receive, receive it in the name of Jesus. I declare that the anointing of God will be strong upon you now. In Jesus' name, it is done. Amen. God bless you. Amen. You have received it already. My sister is here. daddy. Yes. I, want God to heal me. I rebuke every sickness in your body. I command that sickness to leave you now. In the name of Jesus. Any sickness in your body that is troubling your life. I bind it. I command it. Get out. Get out. Get out in the name of Jesus. Get out. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. It is Amen. done. You are healed. God bless you. Amen. Masata labur kosha. Everyone that have been flowing, I decree that the grace of God will be strong on you. The power of God be strong on you. The anointing of God be strong on you. Let God use you mightily. In the name of Jesus. Your name and where are you calling from? Hello. Yes, uh, I'm done calling from Italy. Okay, what do you want me to pray for you? Um, please, uh, follow your, your preachings and uh, your prayer. So, I have a, a gift of a dream. 
Then I always dream, and the dream always comes true. I can dream my head of something that will happen maybe in one year, or a month, or the following day. So it happened that I have one of my brother. I was, you uh, see, I was thinking that he's a good Christian. So uh, my movie younger brother. So I always share my dream with him. Understand? Yeah. So at times we pray together. So when my man get to understand that he's not a good, a uh, good brother, I not cut him off. They say this boy I'm telling you is I senior him for the fifth time. I'll be the fourth time. My immediate younger brother. So before I'm not detect who is he. But after since that time, more than a year now, I don't have a good dream again. Only dream I'm be dreaming for more than a year now. Dreaming see the dead people, my late uncle my late uncle, uh, so doing something common together. And and the secondly, you know, yesterday I called, I told you about my VP. Yeah. So I've been passing through the uh, hard blood pressure. So he knows my uncle, they work there, they call Peter, we live together. When we live to, we live together, he was having VP. So I was the one that gave me money that time to go to a hospital to buy uh, 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 drugs. It's my senior. So even my mother have the same BP. Even the one, the one that my mother senior, the same thing. Mm. So now when I begin dreaming about them, about, about them, those two brothers, my late uncle, I see before this my big when I started experience it, if you apply drug for two weeks it will go down. At times a month I will not experience it at all. A year I will not experience it at all. Mm. So it's at times a the following year I may experience it. So when I apply time, when the drugs it will come now, if I don't dream again apart from dreaming see those the dead people, my dead uh, late uncle. Okay. And uh, 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 I don't have any other dream. I, I, so the few period that there is a prayer point that you you send you send. So every time I went to sleep, I will pray that prayer. So I I am not be seen for more than a week now. I not be dreaming that dream, but I'm not having a good dream. Not I, as I used that, to dream what, before. I'm going to pray for you for your dream to be restored. Your good dream to be restored. Anyone that hacked your dream, Hello? anyone that hacked your dream, I command oh, their power. I command their powers to be destroyed in Jesus' name. I pray. Hello? I pray for good dream of yours to manifest. Amen. In the name of Jesus, every good dream you need, receive the Amen. anointing for it. In the name Amen. of Jesus, I pray for the anointing of fresh, fresh dream, Amen. fresh grace in your dream receive it in the name amen. of jesus amen every agent of darkness that hurt your dream i bind and i cast them out amen. in the name of jesus let your dream amen. be restored and let your amen. gift be restored receive it in the name amen. of jesus I command the pattern of that BP. Amen. Let it be deleted Amen. from your body system in the name of Jesus. Amen. Be healed. Be healed. Amen. Be healed. In the name of Jesus. Amen. It is done. Amen. God bless you. Move on to the next. Your name and where are you calling from? Oh, okay. How are you? I'm fine, and you? We thank God. You were able to meet up with us today. Yes. Okay. So, what do you want me to pray for you today? The gift or whatever you want me to pray for you? Just a general prayer, divine favor, forgiveness of sins, and open doors. I pray now in the name of Jesus. As a prophet, I pray for you for that divine favor. Let 
door drop it in you now in the name of jesus let favor Amen. surround you let favor dwell Amen. with you in the name of Amen. jesus let his mercy remove Amen. every sin from you in the name of jesus i decree open door i decree breakthrough upon your life in the name Amen. of jesus christ Amen. receive it in the name of jesus christ Amen. it is done Amen. god bless you i wish you happy pentecost Hello, your name and where your name and where are you calling from? We have ten Daniel, minutes remaining. And I'm calling from Lagos. Okay, we have just ten minutes to go. What do you want okay. me to pray for you? That is a cobwebs. Uh I'm like a cobwebs that needs to me. Even yesterday, I would like to be former in your far yard. Cobwebs everywhere. We moved to another place. I thought it was from that yard. Then we moved to another place. Cobwebs. And I even drank where I was. Walking with that cobwebs in the dream for some days back. I command that evil cobwebs that is following you. Let it be cancelled in Jesus' name. Amen. I bind that demon. The powers following you. The demons monitoring you where you go. I cast them out of your way to hell. In the name of Jesus. I speak your freedom. I speak Amen. your deliverance. Be free. Amen. Be free. Amen. Be free. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. It is done. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Shatala Barakusika. I pray you right now that the anointing of God saturate all. Your name and where are you calling from? Your name and where are you calling from? Hello, my name is Pastor Ezekiel. Okay, where are you calling from? I'm calling from the Alice City Congo. Okay, what do you want me to pray for you? I want you to pray for me for spiritual appointment. Okay. In the name of Jesus. In the Amen. mighty name of Jesus. I release Amen. the anointing of that Holy Spirit for your spiritual upliftment now. Let your spiritual Amen. life rise again in the name of Jesus. I set Amen. the fire in your spirit life. Let your spiritual Amen. life rise. 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 In the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. I declare from now God will use you more. His anointing Amen. will be with you and flow with you. In the name of the Amen. Father and of the Son Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Take it. Amen. It is done. Congratulations. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Good afternoon. What do you want me to pray for you? My name is Amakam Kone from Lagos, sir. What do you want me to pray for you? That I need restoration of Lord's glory and financial settlement upon my brothers. In the name of Jesus, I pray for the restoration Amen. of that glory. Every glory you lost, Amaka, I said to you, receive the restoration Amen. in the name of Jesus. Receive! Let the glory you lost be restored in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray right now that your brothers will come under this grace. That God will deliver them. God will deliver your family. God will restore you. Deliver your family. Deliver your brothers. Deliver your family in Jesus name. Amen. It is done in the name of God the Father and Amen. of the Son Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Bless you, sir. Thank you, sir. Your name and where are you calling from? Good afternoon, brother. Good afternoon. Oh, God's name is calling from Patakoto. From. 
Hello? Yeah, hello. August Nelson, the garden from Portacos. I want you to pray for me for the grace of goodness and against the spirit of timidity. Okay. And for my wife for the grace of healing and deliverance. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for that boldness you ask for. Receive Amen. it in the name of Jesus. Amen. I rebuke the spirit of timidity. I Amen. cast it out of your life. Receive that grace of boldness in Amen. Jesus' name. I pray Amen. for your wife for healing. I pray Amen. for your wife for restoration of her body and health. In Amen. Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Let me hear your amen three times. Amen. 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 It is done in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Raka shatala rababa. I'll be drawing the curtain anywhere from now to prepare for the next program. I want you to get ready. Hello, your name, and where are you calling from? Hello, your name, and where are you calling from? My name is Louisa. I'm calling from the US. So proceed. What do you want me to pray for you today? Yes, sir. I need to pray for me. I need to pray for you. And the last night, last night, I took the tape in a dream. Where did it? Was the that I was looking for the Then I was moving to the market with my son. Then as we were going to the market, I saw a woman the phone. We are in a book. We are in a book. We are the woman brought up your line. Your line is cracking. I don't know. I I can't hear her. Can you just give me another line? Maybe if she grows down the volume of her phone so that I can hear. Hello, your name and where are you calling from? Hello, hello, good afternoon. My name is Aisha Bira from Hong Kong. From where? Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Hong okay. Kong. What do you want me to pray for you? Pray for me against spirit of death and sickness. I command that sickness to leave you now. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I rebuke Amen. the spirit of sickness out of your body. Get out! In Amen. Jesus' name. I bind Amen. that spirit of sicknesses, that demon of death. I command it to leave you now. Get out of your body now. Get out of your system now. In the name of Jesus, in the land of Hong Kong, the Lord will bless you. The Lord will keep you. The Lord will sustain you. The Lord will bless you. You shall not die. You shall live. In Jesus' name. Amen. Pray Psalm 118 for three nights. Okay. God bless you. you. Anyone that calls, make sure you reduce the volume of your phone so that I can hear you and you can hear me. Hello. If you hear yeah, your name and where are you calling from? Um, okay, you calling from Lagos. Okay, what do you want me to pray for you? I'm okay, you calling from Lagos. Okay, Ichi. Hello? Reduce the volume of your phone if you want me to answer you. I can't answer right. you. I've been making this announcement. Learn it off the volume so that you can communicate okay. with me. That was why we okay. got to others. All right. Hello? Okay. I want you to pray for me for food. For what? And also, sometimes I do see myself going off where yeah, I'm fetching firewood, washing plates. I don't know what. Wow. That in a spirit of backwardness and failure, I rebuke them out of your life now. In the Amen. name of Jesus, I command Amen. every spirit of backwardness, every spirit Amen. of failure, every spirit of struggle. Get out! Amen. Get out! 
Get out. Amen. Leave all gates here alone in the name of Jesus. Amen. Leave all gates here alone in the name of Jesus. Amen. I release anointing of success on you. Receive amen. it in Jesus' amen. name. Let me amen. hear your amen three times. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. I want to draw the curtain down, but just like what I said to you, hello, your name and where are you calling from? My name is Sylvia. Your voice is inside. I can't hear you. My name is Hello. Want us to worship because we want to draw the curtain right here now, and I want you to know that you have been in the presence of God. You have this moment to pray for. The place Just so I told you before about the journey to heaven. I can't hear you. Reduce the volume of your phone. You are the one causing it. Reduce the volume of your phone so that I can hear you. The more you allow the volume of your phone, I cannot hear you. It affects okay, our so equipment here. Reduce it completely. Yes, yes, you I have reduced uh, Hello? Yeah, go ahead. Hello? Uh, but I told you before that uh, yesterday you said for me uh, that I'm trying to say it. That the last night again, uh, the thing was so severe that in the thing I was thinking about looking for work to go to my to talk to the day. Then I saw a woman in my living room with a phone. They did not think. I cannot understand it. I will pray for you. That healing has taken place. Thank God for that. But any agent of Satan that want to bring load on you, I command it to be uprooted. I command every form of attack against your spiritual life and against your blessing. I cast it out in the name of Jesus. I pray for your power. Amen. Restoration of your power. Receive in the name of Jesus. Amen. Receive in the name of Jesus. Take the anointing. I will take the anointing. Take the anointing. Take the anointing in the name of Jesus. I receive. Amen. It is done. I, think that's I remember the place where you brought me from. Hello? Lord, I thank you for where I am. Okay, and where you call it from? Hello? Hello? Your name and where are you calling from? My name is Anthony. I'm coming from Lagos. Make sure you reduce the volume of your phone so that I can hear you well. My name is Anthony. Hello? Go ahead. I'm hearing you. If you have done what I asked Lagos. you to do. Daddy, I want to replace for me that they are doing my hands. Hello? Reduce the volume of your phone. Okay. Ah. Hello? Yes. I said my name is Antonia. I'm coming from Lagos. Mm -hmm. Go straight to the point. I, I have only a few minutes now. I want to cut off now. I Just go, st go straight to the point. Yes. <laughs> So, uh, somebody they are now doing uh, 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 something like this. I'm not like uh, ocean, no ocean. So I get myself, I fly up so I cannot enter that water. So if a man come hold me, so I, I say he should lead me that my life belongs to Jesus. He should lead me. So I said, dragging me, dragging me to drag me out. Hmm. I, I refuse. So I was dragging that night. I woke up in the dream. That is a marine husband is fighting you. In the name of Jesus, I command that marine spirit to maintain your life. Let that marine spirit be scattered in the name of Jesus. I bind that spirit. I cast it out. I cast it out. I 
out of your life out of your destiny Holy Ghost fire 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 in the name of Jesus no demon will hijack you neither your blessing may the Lord bless you and keep you the Father the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen I remember the place where you brought me from. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you for where I am today. I see you do it. I see you do it. And you walk in my life. Oh, Lord, I thank you for the future I see. Lord, I thank you, Lord, I thank you for the future I see. Oh, I remember, I remember the place where you brought me from. Lord, I thank you, Lord, I thank you for where I am today. I see you doing, I see you doing. You walk in my life, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you for the future I see. Your name and where you call it from, Lord. I thank you for the future I see. I remember the place where you brought me from. Oh, Lord, I thank you. For where I am today, your name and where are you calling from? Good morning, brother. Good morning. Yeah, this is Ngozi. Okay, what do you want me to pray for? You are calling from where? From US. Okay, just go straight to the point. What do you want me to pray for you today? Yeah, God mercy and favor. Oh, I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Does he receive the mercy of God? Receive as you have asked. Receive the favor of God. Just as you request. Amen. Any power contending with your peace and your joy. I bind it in the name of Jesus. I bind that spirit in the name of Jesus. I command that force. Get out. In Jesus name I declare you blessed In the name of God the Father And of the Son Amen. And of the Holy Spirit Amen. It is done Amen. Spirit Amen. of the Sovereign Lord Come and make Your presence known Reveal The glory Hello. of the living God yeah, Good afternoon Yeah good afternoon Your name and where are you calling from my, my name is Ugutuku Ikebata. I'm calling from London. Okay, what do you want me to pray for you now? Yes, I'm, I always have been that yesterday I have uh, been myself, my children, my two children, my son and my daughter. We were riding a bike. We were not using the car. So when we got to the stage, we were riding very, very fast. So we crossed into ourselves. My daughter, myself, and other people that were riding. So all of us fell on top of my son. So when we got up, we were trying to pick him up. He said, take it easy because he spoke his son on his leg. So when we picked it up, he was looking a bit off. I brought him up, he was smiling. That was before I woke up. Kai, we need to pray against the spirit of attack, of backwardness, detriment. And I pray for you right now any attack no. against your family against you and against your son in particular i command that attack to be destroyed in the name of jesus i bind Amen. that spirit anywhere is coming from in your village i command it to live in the name of jesus get out Amen. get out get out Amen. get out get out I declare peace into your Amen. life, into your family, Amen. 
and upon your children Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. It is done. God bless you. We take the song we are rounding up right now, please. Spirit of the sovereign Lord, come, on, it. come and make your presence known. Hello, your name and where are you calling from? Hello, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. My yeah. name is John Jose from Italy, sir. Okay, what do you want me to pray for you? I want God to bless my family. Mm. I want you to pray for more grace and fresh anointing, anointing of Pentecost to so fall upon my family. In the name of Jesus. I Amen. pray for that fresh grace, fresh anointing Amen. upon you, upon your family. Holy Spirit, breathe upon Amen. your family now. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I decree a fresh power, fresh unction. Amen. We surround you and your Amen. family now. In the name of Jesus, Amen. receive anointing Amen. of Pentecost. Let the anointing Amen. wind, let the anointing Amen. power, let the fire of Pentecost rest upon your heads in Jesus' name. It is done. May God bless you and your family Amen. in Jesus' name. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. Let the weight of your glory cover us. Hello. Okay. Your name and where are you calling from? My name is Florence Jefferson. I'm calling from London. Okay. What do you want me to pray for you now? We are ending. It's a of death. I've been using my first place around me. I don't know what to say now. I lost I, 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 I cancer my, from my father, my sister, my mother. My brother died in uh, just finished the morning close last November. And my brother just died five uh, uh, I don't know the cause of this. That is a spirit of death ravaging the family. As I pray yes. now, I command every spirit of death ravaging your family. I command it to get out in the name of Jesus. You okay. demon of death tormenting that family. In the name of Jesus. I cast you out now. Anywhere they brought that spell that is ravaging their family. I command it to be uprooted out of your family in the name of Jesus. Fire, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. I declare from this day peace to your family and I want you to make fast 6 to 12 for 3 days pray some 35 for your family 3 days God bless you huh? we prayed for it yesterday in the name of Jesus I decree the fire of God on that mantle receive let that man to receive fire and power in the name of Jesus. Let it the mantle of miracles, signs, and wonders in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Spirit of the sovereign Lord, come and make your presence so revealed. The glory of the living God. Spirit of the Sovereign Lord, come and make your presence so revealed. The glory of the living God. Let the weight of your glory cover us. Let the light of your river flow. Let the truth of your kingdom reign in us. Let the weight of your glory. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let the weight of your glory cover us. Let the light of your river flow. 
Let the truth of your kingdom reign in us. Let the weight of your glory. Your name and where are you calling from? Your name and where are you? My name is Samuel. You are calling from where? I'm calling. I'm calling from India. From India. What do you want me to pray for you? I want you to pray for my son, Kenneth. Okay. Who is bedridden, and I need a, I need a healing miracle for him. Oh, he is in the hospital. Are you with him there? Yes. In the name of Jesus, there is going to be a miracle upon him right now. Amen. I rebuke every spirit of infirmity, every spirit of sickness and disease tormenting the life of that child. I command that sickness, get out of him in the name of Jesus. I rebuke Amen. you, demon of infirmity, get out of that child. You demon tormenting the health of the child. I bind and I cast you. Get out! Return to hell. Leave that child alone. Leave that child alone. Leave that child alone. In the name of Jesus. Fire! 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 Holy Ghost! Fire! I declare the healing upon him and I pray for you to receive supernatural Amen. ability, the grace of healing. Receive it now Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. In the land of India, your child is Amen. healed. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Your name and where are you calling from? My name is Francis. I'm calling from United States. Okay, what do you want me to pray for you? I want a family deliverance. Okay. I pray for my whole family. Wow. In the name of Jesus. Every power Amen. that is fighting your family, the forces attacking your family. Today, I command yes, it Lord. to be uprooted in the name of Jesus. I command the yoke, Amen. the power, the forces in your family foundation that is troubling your family by the yes. anointing of the Holy Spirit. I command it today to be uprooted in the name of Jesus. Every negative Amen. influence in your family foundation, I command it to be uprooted out. Be uprooted Amen. out. Be uprooted Amen. out. In the Amen. name of Jesus, I declare Amen. your family healed. Your family delivered Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. It is Amen. done. God bless you. Amen. All of you, remember, we are going to post our program. The next program will be posted by Fubombe. We are going to watch and then see the youth program, the, the single, every single, everywhere. And you have to share it and let others know. We are going to pray for so many homes and families. From Monday, we will post the prayer for you. Where are you calling from? Hello? Yeah, your name and where are you calling yes. from? My name is Ugo Chukitabata. I'm calling from London. Calling from where? London. I'm calling from London. Okay, what do you want me to pray for you now, sharply? We are drawing the curtain yes. now. Hello? What do you want me to I'm pray for you? To, yeah, I'm calling regarding my like, I just have a new boss. And uh, he's going to resume very soon. So I want a good work relationship with him. I pray that God will favor you before him. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray that the anointing Amen. of God will be on you. The favor of God will be on you. In that working relationship Amen. you want with your boss. Receive it.
in the name of Jesus receive that Amen. favor receive favor receive favor receive favor before Amen. him in the name of Jesus Amen. receive that favor Amen. take it now take Amen. it now take it now take Amen. it now Amen. take take Amen. take 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 Amen. in the Amen. name of Jesus Amen. Amen you will laugh please hold on for, hold on for my wife she wants to hello yeah, sharply, please. What yeah, do you want me I to call earlier? Yeah, I called earlier because of my family. The death in my family. I didn't put my family name. Later, you send it yeah, as a message. Just send it uh, into our yeah, WhatsApp. I didn't my family name when I told about. Just send it as a message. Send it as a message. We'll get to it. Father, in the name of Jesus, yeah. amazing grace, how sweet the sound yeah. that saved my life. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. You took my shame, you took my pain. My Jesus gave me himself And now I reign, I reign with him All my days I'll sing his praise Everywhere that I go, everything that I do All I see is grace Everywhere that I go, everything that I do all I see is grace, 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 grace. I see grace, 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 grace. All I see is grace, 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 grace. I see grace, grace, grace. All I see is grace, grace, grace. I see grace. I see grace, grace, all I see is grace. The hand of Jehovah is at work in my life. The spirit of Yahweh is at work in my life. Grace, grace, grace. Grace, all I see is grace. All I see is grace. I see grace. All I see is grace. All I see is grace. Amazing grace. Amazing grace. Is the story of my life. That's the story of my life. It's not by power. It's not by power. It's not by mind. It's not by mind. It's by the Spirit. It's not by hard work. It's not by hard work. It's not by skills. It's not by skills. The buy help is what I enjoy. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid of tomorrow. Of tomorrow. I have grace. Great grace. Everywhere that I go, everything that I do, all I see is grace. Everywhere that I go. Everything that I do, all I see is grace, 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 grace. I see grace, grace, grace. All I see is grace. I love you all. I wish we will continue. But by Monday towards evening, we are going to make sure that information gets to you on this youth program, the singles program. Anywhere you are any part of the world where it's going to be a world conference program for the for the singles online conference program for the singles and i want you to get ready wherever you are every part of the world share this message to your friends in every part of the world it's going to be next week we are going to make sure the information is online you'll be part of the program the spirit is already moving and is breathing a lot of things are going to happen within this week 
I'm expecting your testimonies. We will to shut them and begin to peg them even as our program goes off. For all the testimonies that are coming in, I just want you to send them all on the WhatsApps. All your testimonies, all the dreams that you have in experiencing will be, will be, will be while the program is going on, will be reshuffling them and be putting them on the, tag them on the tab so that you read and see what people go through. And then as you send your testimonies also, we'll be doing the same thing. I love you from the depth of my heart. Enjoy the Pentecost week. Enjoy the Pentecost program, sorry. And let the power of God be upon you mightily. You will hear the voice of God tonight. The Lord will open your eyes to see the mystery you have not seen for a long time. That person living near to you, you will see the secret behind him. You will see the secret behind that person around you. You will see the secret behind that business deal you want to do. The Holy Spirit will speak to you. He will speak to your ear. I speak to your ear. I speak to your eyes. I speak to your mouth. I speak to your heart. I speak to your mind. I decree, let the power of God touch them now. Holy Spirit, touch their ears. Touch their ears. Touch their eyes that they may see. Touch their ears that they may hear. Touch their tongues that they will proclaim. Touch their understanding that they will learn. And touch their heart that they may know. I pray that you will appear to them as they pray at the altar of prayer today. The Holy Spirit grabs lay hold on them. That impossible becomes possible. I love you from the depth of my heart. Keep fellowship and I keep following us. Just following me all my messages on YouTube. You can go to them and subscribe. Play the messages. Sleep with the messages on your bed. This morning someone was telling me I appeared in the dream in his in, in a dream and then a lot of things were done. I, I, I will even screenshot it and share it out. He said while in the house a lot of things were happening. Even if you can send them as voice messages we can still get them and then screenshot them and text for all that to follow. You will never be the same. Amen. I see God changing you. Yeah. I see God turning things around in ah. your life. I see power changing all you. Now. I pray that God will turn things I see God changing things in you. I all see the anointing doing great things in your life. Receive more grace in Can your work and let the anointing around you me begin me to me kill me the snakes and kill the python. Let the anointing kill the spirit of the let the anointing terminate this demonic fire I see the fire in you from now. Go on, share my link with every other people and connect us through. We hope it won't be long. We will all converge on the mountaintop program. Amen. All your members, all your friends that are in Abuja, the people in Nigeria, your family members, direct them that as soon as the lockdown is relaxed, all should run down to the mountaintop. It's going to be an explosive moment on the mountaintop. It's going to be powerful programs from hence for the moment they relax, the relax of the lockdown. You see amazing things and amazing testimonies. I will minister to you one by one. I will minister to them one by one. And your family will experience a new life and a new breeze. Love you, and I pray that the Lord will keep you. Our mother Mary was there at the upper room, and then we confidently join her as we say, Hail Mary, full, full of, of grace. grace. The Lord is with you. Blessed, blessed are thou amongst women, women, and blessed, blessed is with of your right womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners now Amen. and the hour of our death. Amen. Our Lady, Mother of Good Counsel, pray for us. Our Lady. Queen of Virgins, pray for us. Our Lady, Mother of Perpetual Hell, pray for us. Our Lady, Star of Evangelization, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Love you all. Keep watching. Keep following. It is done. Allah of Barbara is turning things around. Allah of Barbara is turning things around. Ah, Kabi Yesi, a baba mi mo mi mo mi mo. Ah, Oba Giga, Oba Tisha Gudu 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 Meje Jela Dilubu. Allah of Barbara is turning. Around for my good, <laughs> for my good. Hey, all our barbara is calling this around. Hallelujah.